TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on the 17th of Friday, November. We're looking at the Dow at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. 34,938. Down eight, did hit the 35,000s again, just having a bit of a struggle here, high level consolidation at a peak B. We should see a, a leg C and even a D over the coming week. Uh, going to Thanksgiving, looking at the S&P, also uh, struggling a little bit here. It's down two and a half at 4505. <coughs> Excuse me, 452117 was the high three days ago. High-level consolidation, you would expect some kind of a pullback here. We've even got that in Microsoft, which had a spectacular session yesterday. Big pullback today, percentage-wise. Uh, looking at the QQQ, uh, that's down 77 cents at 385. That's the index 100, 387.76 is needed to start leg C. IWM got really hit yesterday, but today, I'm holding quite nicely up $1.44. At 177.38, it always does that. It leads the way for a moment and then looks gonna, it looks like it's going to be great. Small caps, pulls back sharply and cancels everything out. I don't know. Gold, uh, gold had a big move up earlier this morning. Now it's got hit by the uh, trend line, this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, falling axe formation, down three at 1984. If we start to trade in the 2000s for a couple of days, that's going to be really good. The dollar, now this is going to be very important because the dollar's got a, Serious decline because this weekly chart for the very first time is possibly going to go to a sell signal by the end of the day. It probably will. Um, but the 9 is still way over the 14. So I'll be watching this very closely. I'm going to do uh, the different currencies when I do my show in a few moments time. Let's just look at bonds. Uh, bonds are uh, down just a fraction at 115 and 830 seconds in leg E. Stalling a little bit after a really big move. That's helped the um, uh, the yields come down and crude oil. Whew, Crude oil. Crude oil is up $1.50 after the smash yesterday. Um, not doing too badly, but definitely in the sell mode in the month in the weekly chart. Watching this very closely. So I'll be back in a few moments for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, my daily news data, and I'm looking forward to going through a lot of stuff. In, in this is Friday. I usually do a more detailed Chapman Wave analysis uh, using these techniques. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay.